All right, we are now in week six. We're cruising right along. Um, everybody did great in week five. Uh, everything was looking good. Uh, we had that extra credit assignment. I think some of you took a, advantage of the extra credit that was in there. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see some more extra credit or if you'd like to see some different type of extra credit assignment and that's that we can put in there. I'd be happy to do that for you. Um, as we're moving along this week, the um, the two chapters, chapter 23 and chapter 24, uh, just so you know, I go along in the exercises the same, same way you guys do, um, just making sure that I'm um, not missing anything as I go through, and that way I can answer any questions that you may have. So um, I, too, feel your pain. I'm just going through all the exercises at the same time. But uh, chapter 23, uh, I kind of breeze through that one. Chapter 24, it's just a long one. There's a lot to it. Uh, there's just a lot of steps and uh, things as you're going through all those items uh, for the the styles and changing styles and, and creating custom styles. Um, so just there's not a lot of uh, items that we need to be aware of that are kind of tricky, but I have some to point out to you. But uh, just as one item of note, uh, there's not really much difference between Word 2013 and 2016 for these two chapters. So there's no real tips or tricks uh, for Word 2016 that, that need to be passed along. So I'm going to dig right in here and uh, just get to some of the items that uh, I know could trip some people up and just some items I wanted to point out to you. So on page 800, uh, we're working on uh, the NSSS services uh, file. It's exercise 23.2b. Um, on page 800, there's step 8b. Uh, it's asking you to click on the Smart Tools Design tab. And what that means is that when you click on the Smart, basically you click on the image, and I'll do that, you'll notice that up here, the Smart Art Tools uh, tabs have opened up. If I select somewhere else on the page, those will go away. So if I click on that, you'll notice up at the top, the Smart Art Tools, what the system, what the book is asking you to do is go to design and that's where you're going to be able to get to all of the items that you're there talking about. And then you can get to the um, different themes and different uh, designs that you can have 3D polished and you can change all the, those goodies for that one. So just remember, select the item and then these the design and format. Uh, tabs will open up for you. And then we have on page 809, uh, just a reminder, on step 7, this is on our assessment, uh, step 7, uh, just make a copy, don't print. Uh, so you're going to end up with two versions of basically the same file. And I'll, basically, I ended up with KM report. Oops, sorry, that was the wrong one. Um, we're going to end up with two documents with different themes. So one is going to have the organic theme, and then the other one is just going to have the, the first theme that they had you working with. So we're going to end up with a couple different ones. So we have that theme, and and then we're going to have that theme. So you'll produce two different documents that have uh, the two different themes there for that. And then as we move along into Chapter 24, not a whole lot going on in Chapter 24 that I need to really point out, but I just want to make you aware on page 819, um, we're in 24.2a. When the uh, text asks you to click on the More button, um, usually they're just referring to this button over here, the little down arrow. If you hover over it, it just says more, just below it. Sometimes they actually refer to it as the down arrow button next to those items, and sometimes they refer to it as more. Just remember, sometimes when the book asks for the more button, it's more often than not, it's going to be that down arrow button there uh, next to some of these windows like styles. Um, you'll see it here in design. This button is also more. Uh, so when the book calls for a more button, that's really what they're asking for. 
As we move along on page 848, we're in exercise 24.3F. Um, and I'm just trying to remember which one that one is. On uh, item 5C in the uh, BTT tables style. Let me pull that up. And of course, there we go. Um, it's asking you on the tables, let me get to the actual one. Uh, when you click on the tables, you're going to need to go to design. And that's where the table styles will be applied under the table tools and then design right there. So again, you're going to click anywhere in the table. And then you're going to go to design. And that's where you should find your the BT table uh, custom design that you had for that. So when I'm not in the, the table, you notice that goes away. If I go into the table, the table tools show up and it has the design button there. So make sure you go to that one and then you can select uh, the different types of table designs. You notice I can hover over that one. It shows me a preview. I can click that one and it has the, the table design that I'm looking for. So on our assignment for this week on chapter 24, on page 852, uh, looking at specifically uh, step number five, uh, it's asking for you to create a, a style set based on the styles that you have set up. Uh, just remember to set up a style set, you go to the design tab, So just the regular design tab, and that's where you set up the style set. So you click the more button over here on the, the side here, and down at the bottom is save to a new style set. And basically it merges those items into one style set. Another reminder on the assignment for chapter 24 um, is that we're gonna stop at step number 18. So stop at step 1818. Um, you're going to take screenshots and then add that to the document that you're going to upload. Uh, that's all the little tips I have for this this week on chapters 23 and 24. Uh, this, week's work, this week's work is brought to you by the word kinetic, um, like as in kinetic energy. So that's the word for the week uh, for the quiz. Uh, you guys are doing great work. Um, really enjoying this this semester with you guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And I'd be happy to answer those questions for you. And have a great week, everyone. Take care.